Today I want to direct your attention to Acts chapter 13 where we have a very important passage where Barnabas and Saul are commissioned to do their missionary work. Uh, if you look at Acts 13 verses 1 through 5, the verse I want to focus on is verse 2. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Uh, if you look at this verse in context, first of all, it says something really significant about how diverse and multicultural the church was from the very beginning. Um, because with Barnabas and Saul, you also have Simeon, who was called Niger, who is clearly from Africa, would have been a black man from Africa. There's Lucius from Cyrene. There's Menaean, a member of the court of Herod. Uh, there's Barnabas and there's Saul. You've got this diverse group of men uh, raised in different ways, different places, different uh, cultures, and yet they are now all part of the Jesus movement or the way. And in commissioning Barnabas and Saul, uh, we see an important uh, model, if you will, for if you're considering an important decision or a move or a possible job change or a possible transition era in your life uh, is what are they doing? They're worshiping the Lord and they're fasting. They're giving God their full attention. Remembering what Jesus said when he was being tested in the wilderness that we don't live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So here they are gathered together uh, prophets, teachers, worshiping, fasting, they hear the Holy Spirit uh, speak very clearly, saying, set apart Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. And what's interesting is this is happening, it's now 15 years have passed since Saul's conversion in Acts chapter 9. Sometimes it's easy to lose track of kind of the time of things. Uh, when we read through different books of the Bible. So it's only four chapters in Acts, but it's 15, it's 15 years. And now Saul is really prepared uh, by God to go out and to do this work with Barnabas. And it says in concluding that passage, after they hear from the Holy Spirit, then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and set them off. Um, Fasting and prayer often go together. You remember the time when Jesus came down from the Mount of Transfiguration and there was a father with a son who, to our eyes, sounds like he had epilepsy. And uh, the, the disciples hadn't been able to cast out the demon, uh, but Jesus was able to. And in one of the Gospels, it says he tells them that this kind comes out only with fasting and prayer. Uh, fasting and prayer are a good combination when we're trying to do something really significant. And the final thing I want to say is, having heard from the Holy Spirit, fasted and prayed, they sent them off. Once you know what God is telling you to do or calling you to do, it's time to move. It's time to act.